Hey everybody, we're gonna talk about a solar EDC kit that I put together. And this is a little kit I put together the last couple months to be kind of a flexible, renewable energy source. I know that we all have our own solar panels and rechargeable battery packs, but we don't really talk about the system around it, the idea around it. So I've been uh, putting this together for the last couple months and just wanted to show this to you, but give you a couple of the requirements that I had when I was building this. One, it can fit inside of a day pack, suitable for outdoor, urban, or even travel situation. And it's meant to primarily top up your device, your primary device. It, it can also do a secondary device such as a GPS or a satellite communicator or any other uh, USB devices. Now, a couple of years ago, we'd be talking about double A's and triple A battery systems, but I think with the way that the products are changing and there's always something new every couple months probably show you what I got here and encourage you to comment in the video uh, your products and some of your recommendations so let's flip over and take a look at uh, the kit all right so let's go over the contents of this kit again the requirements that I had set up here is something that will fit in a day pack and I use a common Goal Zero Nomad 7 I'm sure a lot of people have this so before I flip this over Again, the requirement that I wanted to accomplish is to be able to recharge or top up my primary device based on the activity I'm doing. So for a lot of us, uh, it's a smartphone, but if you're out doing hiking, outdoor situations, you might want to top up your GPS communicator device, or if you're just outside, out back like today, you want some tunes, this little Bluetooth speaker here. So let's uh, flip things over and show you the content. So one of the things I like about this uh, solar pack from Goal Zero is the fact that you have this nice, nice little mesh pouch. It allows you to store everything in here. Now, this is pretty much a standalone system. Obviously, you want to go for a solar panel plus battery pack. But it has a lot of cables here that I'm using for the situations or I need to help somebody out. Let's take a look at the contents. And this is all stuff that you can assemble from home. I'm sure you have tons of cables here, but let's go over some of them. This is my primary cable for my smartphone. Now this is on its last legs, but I'm about to replace this with a Nomad key. And this happens to have the Apple Lightning connector. You can get this with the uh, micro USB. This is on my keychain, so which has come in handy a few times. But I might just add another one in this kit once this cable goes away. Have a little extra pair of headphones. I'm sure if for those of us who upgrade their smartphone often have a stack of these somewhere so comes in handy and inside the pouch our leather pouch iPod shuffle with some tunes on it and I'll show you in a minute and the various USB cables right micro USB the charger for the iPod this is the uh, charger for the solar panel so that stays with that another USB cable and mic jack to mic jack or headphone to headphone cable that's in there you got your solar panel that captures the energy from the sun you want to store that in your battery pack tons of alternatives to this I kept with the bundle pack the guide 10 only because I kind of like it because you can hang it up clip it so I have a couple of these beaner clips here it has a little LED light comes in handy and of course you can trickle charge everything while you're at it um, but I do have in that camping setup I do have one item that still uses AA batteries which is AM FM radio that I use for camping so that's why this is there once I find something else that might have uh, an internal rechargeable I'll probably flip to the newer version which is I think the flip 10 they call from Gold Zero or something else and the last two items just a plug if there's no sunlight, or you're at your office, or on the road, you want to charge in, this will work. And if you're doing a road trip, and you need to plug in somewhere in the car or truck, your buddies that may not have this, or using up the existing USB port, there you go, the charge up. So there you have it, very easy solar kit, fits nicely in a day pack, suitable for almost any type of outing. You can charge up your primary device or you can be a little bit creative, 
trickle charge some of the devices that don't need a daily charge like your GPS or in this case our DeLorean inReach you can use the iPod to shuffle and plug that to your Bluetooth speaker with the provided cable have endless tunes and of course you can always use your battery pack to top up your cell phone or trickle charge the battery pack. The reason why I set this kit up together is to get a better understanding of how the solar panel works, how the battery works, how long it takes for the devices to charge up based on the situation I'm in. So put down in the comments what you think, what products you would use, or some alternatives to what I've shown you today, and we'll see you guys next time.